I've been thinking about making this video for a while now because if you remember about two or so years ago, I filmed a video where I tried out ASOS for the first time. ASOS, ASOS, I'm never gonna get it right. And I feel like based on a lot of the plus size creators that I follow on YouTube and Instagram, it seems like this brand particularly has like the biggest selection of cute and affordable and size inclusive products. So I was like, let's order a few things. Let's test them out. It's been a couple of years. I have grabbed a couple random things here and there, like a couple pairs of trousers or like a random dress for the summertime or whatever but I haven't placed like an actual order in a while and this is all completely random by the way this was like me either probably early in the morning or late at night I am an insomniac and I thought I would share it with you I thought we would test it out together so we're gonna see what all of these clothes are like what the fit is like what the price point is all of that good stuff we have quite a bit of stuff here um this is a very large box so let's go ahead and jump in and try this stuff on first we have to start off with this item because I have just so much hope riding on this one item. And I have tried thrifting versions of this. I have tried going into sustainable stores that they don't carry my size in. I've tried everything and I can't seem to find a cute black simple mini skirt with just a little slit on the side. I can't seem to find one in my size. It's been very difficult actually. So I saw this one and I was like, let's give it a try. And it's the ASOS Design Curve Bengal Line Micro Mini Skirt. It retails for $29, which I think is like a relatively good price considering there was a skirt that I was looking at at, similar to this that's too big for me on reformation that would have to pay to get altered and it was like ninety eight hundred dollars something like that so this definitely saves money there it's like got a little bit of a stretch to it and it's definitely got some structure too so it's not like see-through that's another problem I was running into it has a zipper in the back and I just really really hope that I can find like a go-to skirt because I have been so 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 into the whole like mini skirt tights boots and like sweater type of vibe for winter that's honestly my dream outfit so we're gonna try this out and see if I can finally have my staple skirt, please, God. All right, so, mm, mm. it's not perfect. I don't know if the perfect one exists, but this is really, really cute. It's a little bit loose in the waist, but like, I prefer that. That's the exact fit that I would want. But I worry with this material being so like slick that it might just slip up a lot during the day. And that really bothers me when skirts like continually ride up. But I feel like because it's looser, it might stay down. I don't know, either way, I did also have to like tuck my bike shorts on one side because this slit kind of goes a little farther up than I thought. So maybe I could take one of my cheap pairs of bike shorts that I wear for chafing and just like cut one side. I know Skims makes pairs like that, but I mean, we had our experience with Skims on this channel. But overall, I do think it's a really Really cute skirt. I think it's like a simple basic that you can put with so many different things. I really like the look of it. I do think I'm gonna hang on to it. I love the slit. I think that adds so much. I think it's gonna be really cute with tights like I mentioned, but it does look cute with this sweater. I think it's gonna go with a lot of different things. So I'm gonna give this like an 8 out of 10. It's not terrible. I am gonna keep it. Do I think it could be a little bit better? Yeah, but that's just me being nitpicky. But that's kind of why I'm here is to be nitpicky. So I'll link this down below as well as everything that I try on today. If it's still available, it'll be linked down in the description box for you. And um, it's really cute. I really do like it. You'll have to let me know your thoughts below, but I think we're off to a good start. I'm slightly disappointed, but I'm hopeful still. Okay, next, since we have that skirt, I'm gonna try on a few tops with it. I feel like the thing that I am needing the most out of anything in my wardrobe is tops. I just feel like I never have enough tops and I'm always buying and thrifting cool like funky bottoms, but I never have enough tops in my mind anyway, to go with it. So I wanted to stock up on like a few sweaters and like random long sleeve tops, etc. So the first one, I have to do this one first cause it's my favorite. This absolute cutie of a sweater. Are you joking? It's like a color block situation. It's got brown, it's got cream, it's got pink and it's got this sort of like mint green. This is called the Daisy Street Plus Cardigan with two way zip. I love a two way zip moment. I have one on right now. I just feel like you can like mix and match and change how much like midriff you want showing. I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. So this is probably gonna be my new favorite sweater. ASOS is like a British brand, so it'll show on the tag like both sizes. So for this, it says a UK size 18, for a US is a size 1X, but a UK size 18 is a US size 14, and I don't think a 14 is a 1X. But anyways, whatever. Here's a cute freaking sweater. Let's try it on and see what it looks like. I have the most hope riding on the first two items, so if I'm not absolutely in love with them, 
I'm going to be heartbroken. All right, this one is exactly what I hoped for. It's so cute. I love the color blocking. I don't know if I would 100% wear it with this skirt, but like on its own, maybe with some jeans or a jean skirt or like some cute pants. I do have really long arms, so I feel like if I move them around too much, it does kind of end up being a little bit string was so long. It does end up being like a little bit too short in the sleeves, but that's just like a me problem. I have extremely long limbs. As I've said in the past, your girl's got wingspan. Um, my arms are ex insanely long. So that aside, I think this is great. It's super cute. I like the sizing of it a lot. I do think I could also get away with sizing up in this. I just can't get over how cute this double zip is with like the color blocking. I just think it's so much fun. I love the collar as well. I really like used to hate collared shirts. I think it's like trauma from serving, like waiting tables for 10 years. And then also like the early 2000s when popping your collar was really popular and wearing like polos from Abercrombie and stuff. But I honestly like am loving collared stuff at the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one probably like a nine out of 10. It's really cute. The only thing I would dock points for is the sleeve length. But if you have shorter arms, this is gonna be perfect for you. Next we have a sweater that I actually don't remember ordering. It's possible that I blacked out, but also I ordered this stuff like a month ago. So who knows? And this is called the Daisy Street Plus Zip Up Knit Cardigan in brown. It's $44. And I also got it in a US size 14 or a 1X. And it is, I think another two way zip. I'm clearly having a moment with that right now. I don't remember there being a hood, but that's kind of cute. So it's just like a nice brown zip up two way. It feels like pretty good quality. I prefer sweaters that are more like this, that sort of like stretchy ribbed material. I don't like very, very thick sweaters. Sometimes they just like make me itchy or I get overheated really easily. So this is gonna be fun. It's nice and cropped too, which I don't think I have that many, if any, cropped sweaters, honestly. So this would be a great thing to add to my wardrobe if it fits. So let's see if it does. All right, here it is. It's really cute. Number one, love the color, love a dark brown. I actually love a black and brown moment as well. I love the sleeve length on this sweater so much better than the other one. Like I can move all around and it's gonna stay exactly in place. I love that. The only thing that I feel like is now sort of off about this one is just the crop it is pretty cropped and I have like a really long torso. So sometimes I think in combination with like having a wider bust and then like a longer torso, it really rides up in the back and like sometimes my bra will poke out of the bottom. So I feel like I would constantly be pulling this down and that's kind of annoying, but it's so cute. Like I love this. The little hood is so adorable. Like, are you kidding? Would I wear it like this? No but it's cute that it's there. So I'm like 50-50 on this. Like I really, really like it. I don't know if I'm obsessed with it on me, but I think it would be such a good, simple basic to have in my closet, especially with pants that are more of like a pattern or skirts. So maybe you can help me decide in the comments if I should hang on to this or not. I don't wanna keep any of this stuff unless I'm like really, really in love with it. So I'm on the fence. Let me know, but very, very cute. Next, I wanted to try this thing that ASOS does called Reclaimed Vintage. I don't know if that's just the name of a brand or if it's actually reclaimed vintage. I highly doubt it to be honest. But either way, I just saw this funky sweater and I couldn't put it down and I couldn't stop thinking about it. So this is called the Reclaimed Vintage Inspired Plus Sweater with Gummy Bears. It retailed for $62.90, which I think was the most expensive thing. I do think I might've had a discount code and gotten a discount on a lot of this stuff, but I can't remember. And I also got this in a US size 14. And these designs, it's like mushrooms, flowers, gummy gummy bears, it's got a little sun on it. With like the green, I don't know, I figured with my new sort of darker hair color, this might be really a vibe with just some black flare leggings. And then what does it say on the side here? It says vintage. I don't know, you can't really tell. Oh. Oh, it says reclaimed on one sleeve and vintage on the other. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. Maybe no one will ever even notice because I certainly didn't until I was like looking at it up close. So let's see what it looks like. All right, here she is. And when I have it on, it honestly is really cute. I don't know if it's this item specifically or if it's something else in this haul, but my nose is itching so bad I wanna rip it off right now. My nose is just extremely sensitive. You probably see me like touching my nose a lot during videos and I feel like some of these fibers or something in this, or maybe it's like dust, I don't know, but it is getting in my nose so bad and especially when I'm wearing this. But like nothing's coming off of it. <laughs> Anyways, it is really cute. Love how long the sleeves are. 
10 out of 10 for that. I decided to like tuck it under a little bit because I thought it would look cuter with this skirt. But I don't know if I'm like in love with it. I think it's just the writing on the sleeves. I don't know why I didn't notice that. <laughs> that would be something that you should really look for when you're shopping for things. I do like the color of it. I do love all the designs on it. I think it's like really fun and youthful and cute. But I also just remembered that I have another sweater that's kind of similar to it. I had kind of forgotten about this because I had all of my winter sweaters were still put away underneath my bed when I placed this order. And like, I mean, the color is pretty similar. This is even like a little more muted and it has daisies all over it and it kind of gives a similar effect. And I really don't need two sweaters like this. So I do think this one is gonna go back. Let me know in the comments if I'm making a mistake. I just don't think it's exactly what I was hoping for. And like I said before, if I'm not 100% in love with it and if I have something that's kind of similar to it already, I think it needs to go back. Next up we have a sweatshirt because I cannot do anything without picking up a crew neck sweatshirt. I can't go to like a thrift store flea market. Like I literally have a problem with crew neck sweaters. It's fine. So why not add to the mix? This is called the ASOS Design Curve Puff Print Flower Sweatshirt and it retailed for $46. I got it in a US size 18. No, I lied, 16. Such a cute color and I actually got it a bit oversized. It's this sort of like muted kind of jade green color and on the back it says no rain, no flower flowers and I love that. I love that sentiment. I think it's really cute and then it also has like a little mini version on the front. I kind of wanted to get more crewnecks and sweatshirts that are like a little bit more modern because a lot of times I just thrift ones that are like 100% grandpa and like I love those but I just wanted to have some variety. So this one's really simple but we're gonna try it on and see if it fits. Okay I kind of can't believe I'm saying this but I think this is too oversized and I love oversized. Like it's my favorite thing in the world but it could also just be because I have this skirt on with it because because I'm too lazy to change. We have some more bottoms and things coming up, don't worry. But I don't know, like it's such a cute sweatshirt. I love the graphic on the back. I think it's so, so cute, but I feel like in combination with how long it is, I think it might be a little bit oversized, but I also know that with ASOS clothing, like if I wash and dry it, it will shrink up a bit. So now I'm like, do I hang on to it and just keep it really oversized? Or do I return it and maybe like size down? Because I really, really like the color. I like the design. I think it's so adorable. But again, it's like, if it's not perfect, do I need to let it go? I think it's just a bit too oversized. I went up only one size, but maybe since it was already oversized, I should have like stayed my normal size or maybe even gone down one. Love the length of the sleeves. Absolute 10 out of 10 for that. Probably end up exchanging this one, but so, so freaking cute. I love it. Next, to break it up a bit, I have an obsession with things that are cherry print. I have since the 90s. I just love that sort of like slightly grungy Drew Barrymore 1990 type of look and I saw this sweater and I couldn't say no to it so this is called the ASOS design curve cupped button through midi tea dress and it retails for $54 I got it in a US size 14 it does seem a little bit see-through I don't know if you're able to see that on camera but I am in person so I'll probably have to wear some shorts underneath this no big deal this has like a couple of slits in the front I'm not super big on like the puff sleeve thing anymore I really kind of ran that into the Around the last couple of years, but I think this would be cute to have around. I was picturing this with either like some black Converse or like some tights and Doc Martens. I think that would be really cute as well. And kind of a more like wintry type of dress because it doesn't get that cold here in LA. So I thought I would try this out and we'll see how it goes. Who knows? All right, you know what? I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I don't know if I love this. It's a really pretty dress. I shouldn't say I don't know if I love this. I don't know if I love this on me because it's really cute. I just think the proportions are a little bit off. Like the second I relax my shoulders, these are falling down and they're already stretchy as it is. So there's really not much I can do to like tighten that. And that like any kind of sensory thing where it's like a strap keeps falling down or something isn't staying up or whatever, it really bothers me. <laughs> really bothers me. So I do think that would get on my nerves. And also what I've noticed with these kind of more square neck dresses is that, I don't know if it's like the size of my boobs or what it is, but the front here is always too big, like always too big. And I have a couple dresses that are square neck. In fact, I have one that's originally from ASOS, but I thrifted it when I was in London and I have to wear boob tape every time I wear it. And then it like leaves marks on my skin for days afterwards. Not exactly looking to add another one of those into my collection. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> This thing wants to come off of me, but it's so cute. Like I love the pattern, I love the print. I just don't know if this is like my favorite kind of dress anymore. 
I don't know. It could just be because it's winter and I'm more focused on like sweaters and things like that. Dare I say it, I might be growing out of my puff sleeve midi dress phase. I don't know, maybe not fully, but this one just isn't it and I'm sad and it wants to come off anyway. Next for something a little different, I saw this on the model and I was like, hmm, I might wanna try this out, we'll see. When I went to the UK back in September, I had my photo taken by the lovely Alex Cameron and I decided to go for like a power suit kind of move, sort of like boss bitch energy, you know? And I really, really loved it. So I wore like a tuxedo vest with a matching pant and I saw this one. This is by the brand Native Youth. It's in a UK 18 or US size 14 and it comes with the pants here. And I think these are really cute. I like the gold pinstripe down the front. These are really fun. And then a matching top. And this top does look a little bit big. So I'll be curious to see how these fit and how they look together. But I thought that this would be fun to try out and sort of see if I can have another version of the all black one that I wore and really loved, so let's try it out. Okay, so full transparency, I don't love this. I, I think it's the wrong size, first and foremost. The top, definitely I would need to go down one size, and then the pants are like an interesting fit because I think they like technically fit, but they're also like way too big in the waist, so I don't know. That's kind of a thing that I run into a lot, actually, is feeling like I'm in between like a size 14 and 16, so that would make sense because in UK sizes, I'm typically like the equivalent of a US 14. Anyways, not gonna bore you with logistics, but I would need to go down like a half a size in the pants and then like a full size in the top. Like it does look like I'm wearing something that's just too big for me. I do think dressed up, it would be really cute or even dressed down honestly with like some white Converse or something. You could totally rock it, but I just don't think it's for me. I feel like I've said that a lot throughout this video. There are certain things that I think are really, really cute, but they're just not for me. So it gives the same vibe of what I was going for with my all black outfit that I wore to England back in September, but it's just not perfect. So I'm gonna give it like a five out of 10. I don't love it, I don't hate it, it's just not for me. I've got a couple more bottoms, but I just realized that I forgot one of the tops, and this is fine because it'll go with the two bottoms that I'm about to show, but this top I just thought was so cute, and I had my eye on it for so long, and it's just a simple heathered gray long sleeve. It's called the ASOS Design Curve Long Sleeve Ribbed Top, and it's a heather gray color, it's a US size 14, it was $23, and I just thought that this would be like a nice, simple, everyday top to go with like patterned pants or skirts or whatever, and also also, it's like such a heathered gray that I don't think I would sweat through it. And I'm like a sweaty gal. I always have been. If there's one thing about me, it's that I'm going to be perspiring. And so gray is like one of my favorite colors, but sometimes I'm not able to wear it because I just like sweat through it. So I think I'll actually be okay with this. So to go with it, I have been curious about this trend for so long and I've tried thrifting versions of it before and like I just couldn't get the sizing right. And so I decided to try out this one, which is a denim midi skirt or maxi skirt. And this one is so cool because it's in a black color and it's sort of like a slightly cargo looking one Which I thought was really cool. This is called the ASOS design curve denim cargo mini skirt in like a wash black color It retails for $49. I got it in a US 14 UK 18 and it has like some tan stitching along the sides of it It is slightly faded, which is what I would prefer and I feel like this might be kind of fun with like a boot for winter or even like Converse, Doc Martens. And if you would have asked me maybe six months ago or maybe like a year ago, if I would have wanted a long denim skirt, I would have been like, no, absolutely not. That's way too House on the Prairie, way too keep, sweep, pray and obey. But honestly, <laughs> I really think this is cute. It's grown on me. I've seen so many people style such cute looks with it. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, not gonna lie. I'm a little gutted about this one because this skirt is too big. It doesn't fit and I love it so much. But this is the smallest plus size they make. And I know if I buy this same skirt, if they have it in the largest straight size, it'll be too small. And so that's always the issue that I run into. That's why I think some people use the term mid size is because it's like you're in between straight and plus sizes. And that's definitely how I feel with this because this is a plus size 14, which I usually am really well fitted into, but it's just not the right size and I'm so sad about it. And I know that I can't size down. So it's very confusing. I have that experience all the time. Like for Good American, for example, I believe their size 14 is like four inches smaller than their size 15. And then also I was looking at a pair of pants on Reformation and the largest straight size and the smallest plus size, again, were like four or five inches difference in the waist. And it's just like, huh? So it's very frustrating, but 
lit regardless. I'm gonna get off my soapbox and stop preaching. This is a really, really cute skirt. It's just not the one. So I'm gonna keep looking for like thrifted ones and just keep my eye out um, because I really love this look. I think it's so adorable. And then the top is perfect. I absolutely love it. It's such good quality. It's like the exact material that I like. It's kind of in between like a shirt and a sweater. And I love that. I love the cute little like V in the front. I think it'll be really good for casual looks as well as just like things like this. I'm so sad about this skirt. I don't want to talk about it. I could try to make it work with this skirt and maybe like wash and dry it. But I mean, you can see my shorts. Like I don't think it should be doing this. So <laughs> you win some, you lose some. We do have one final pair of bottoms. So let's see if I can like heal my wounds in time for the end of this video. And last but not least, we have a pair of bottoms and these are like a cargo khaki pant. And I have been really, really lucky in finding good cargo and just like wide leg pants on ASOS. So I saw these and I was like, I have to snatch these up. These are called the ASOS Design Curb Oversized Cargo Pants in the color olive. They were $43. I got them in a US size 14. They seem like the perfect Kim Possible pants. And I do have a pair that's from like Aerie, American Eagle, something like that. And they're cute, but they're a jogger. And I've kind of grown out of like the jogger phase of life. And these are a more like wide leg. So I think these will be a little bit better fitted. So I might end up just like reselling the other ones I have or donating them or whatever. And I'm really excited to have my Kim Possible moment in these. So keep your fingers crossed that these work out because I love them so much and I need them to stay in my life. Okay, last but not least, here we have it. And dare I say it, but I think these might be a little too wide leg. And like, okay, sometimes I get comments from people saying that I'm like way too harsh in these videos. And the reason that I am is not only because that's like, you know, I'm trying to make a review on my channel, but also because I know that a lot of you, you know, spend your hard earned money on things that I recommend. So I wanna make sure to like point out any little critiques that I have, just to make sure that you're not like caught off guard when you get the item in the mail, you know? And you're like, what the heck? She didn't say that. She said it was perfect. So anyways, I do wonder if these are maybe a little bit too wide leg for me. Like they're really cute, but they are really wide leg. Like these are probably the most wide leg thing I've ever tried on. I do like the color a lot. I like the fit. The only thing is I think they're supposed to be worn more as like a mid-rise kind of pant and that's not my style. I can get away with wearing them high-rise especially because they are a little bit looser which I actually prefer in a pair of pants like this whereas with the last skirt it was like a problem. So really cute but just you know I don't think they're the ones for me. You'll have to let me know if you disagree in the comments. I just personally don't feel super comfy in it so I think these are gonna go back which is sad. This has been a lot more mixed than I thought it was gonna be. I genuinely opened this box and was like, oh, these are all bangers, like out of the park, every single one. And it's been a lot of hits and a lot of misses. I feel a little confused. I do think I'll be returning probably half, if not more of this. So I was kind of hoping that I was gonna have an entirely new wardrobe, but maybe it's for the best. Better things are out there for me. But the pieces that I'm going to keep, I really do love. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. Let me know your thoughts on these pieces. Did you like them? Did you feel like they looked cheap? I'd love to know your thoughts and your opinions down below. As I mentioned, everything that I tried on in this video, if it's still available, will be linked in the description box if you wanna check it out. I also really recommend going to your local thrift store and trying to find things or shopping sustainably if you can, but I did wanna include this as an option for people who are on a budget and looking for size inclusivity or accessibility. If there are any other brands you want to see me try out, definitely let me know in the comments below. I would love to check them out for you. Be your guinea pig as usual. Thank you so much for being here. I am sending you all of my love and I will see you very soon in my next video.